越南建筑师吴崇义，被称为是世界上最会使用竹子的建筑师，也是 BBC、CNN 眼中改变越南的人物。2019年的夏天，一条在位于缅甸深山的帕奥禅林，见到了在这里修行的吴崇义。2006, when I come back from Japan, I didn't have any job to do, so I start with my cafe with the bamboo. It called Win and Water Cafe. One piece of bamboo only costs one dollar. Then if we do one project with three thousand bamboo piece, then it costs only three thousand US dollar. We start to be known by the bamboo project, and then that's why we have many bamboo project. Bamboo is quite good material for 21st century. They can last really long life. Two, three years ago, client they contact to our company in the just a small island and beautiful island area. Uh, we start to do the resort. Bamboo is the best choice. All the land is maybe 2,000 square meter only. One square meter it costs like. 250 US dollar for bamboo. We make a frame, then many frame, and then we put it together, and it become two floor building. The restaurant we call a SP shell. It look like a bending, but every element is straight. It connect together because it like in the nature, inside the nature. So they don't want to do really a uh, uh, detail. In our firm, we would like to do is build the project. Even by bamboo, can last really long life. So we improve our technique a lot. Suck it into the river as long as possible. Six months, one year, and never have insect again. And like the building, like a touch with the land, it have five bungalow with the around thirty people living in one bungalow, and then we have five. That means one hundred fifty. The young people around the world, they would like to live in that kind of space. I grew up in the small village with a lot of greenery when I was a child. So I have to deal with the life without electricity, without aircon, without fans. Tree is really important with my life. So that's why I really like to planting the tree in architecture. City in Asia is younger of concrete. Ho Chi Minh and uh, Hanoi is not exceptional. The the city with really less of greenery, and it become really polluted. Then, what we would like to do is how we can introduce the greenery in our city by architecture and by urban planning. Or in many of our project on the rooftop, we try to recycle running water. We collect this. Then we try to use the house with zero energy. Even the really small house, it become really small park or a city. We design for free, and some uh, the first project we do it for free, like uh, the fashion. Now they they talk about green architecture. We don't want to talk just kind of big dream, but uh, for me myself, maybe I love tree in my heart. Human being nowadays more and more pressure. Not only architect. I start meditate in uh, 2012. I have been here around two years to meditate in Pao uh, Meditation Center in here, Pyolin, Myanmar. I think now I am um, uh, more like a meditator than architect. 24 hour only meditation and sleeping. Meditation can help me to uh, to be more calm, more peaceful. I can develop uh, super concentration. I only work like uh, five minutes a day or ten minutes. Then add long concentration like that. Uh, architecture design become easier. 